How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to generate QR codes using JavaScript. Okay, now this here is what we're going to be building in today's video. As you can see, you can press generate QR code and it's going to take this URL and place it in the form of a QR code right down here. And this is going to, of course, work. And we can also change it to, for example, youtube.com forward slash decode software just to prove it does in fact work. I'll press generate once again and it changes. So it's really easy to generate QR codes using this solution. And if you're not using an input field like I'm doing here, don't worry, you can use whatever value you want for the QR code generation. I'm just using an input field to help demonstrate uh, of course, the solution in this video, right? So you can do whatever you want in terms of how to get the text. The solution remains the same uh, no matter how you provide it. Now, going inside this tab right here, we're going to be starting with this template. So we're not having the uh, QR code generated just yet. Of course, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And we're going to be doing it using a library called QR code. Now, if you want to go down the CDN route, so including a script tag on your page to include and install the library, I'm gonna be showing you that and it's gonna be linked down below this page right here. But I'm also gonna be showing you how to do it through uh, using NPM uh, if you're using a front end build tool. Okay, so linked down below is the CDN solution. You want to copy the script tag for version 1.4.4 and paste it towards the end of your body just down here, okay? Now, again, if you want to uh, use the same, you know, input field solution like I'm doing here, you can pause the video right now and just include a basic structure similar to this one where you have an input field for the URL and a button to then, of course, generate the QR code. And then lastly, just an image tag to hold the eventual image. So you can pause the video now and of course, copy this code into your own text editor. And once done, we can move on to the JavaScript to get this to work. Because at the moment, the library is now installed on the page once you have this link at the bottom here. Okay, so in terms of the JavaScript, well, we're going to get a reference to each one of those three major components, the input, the button, and the image. So going back inside here, let's say const input is equal to document.getElementById and pass in their QR code input. Now, of course, I've gotten this ID from this ID right here. In fact, it is actually wrong. Let's copy the ID instead. QR code URL, there we go. Okay, we can do this twice more for the button to generate. Okay, so button equal to, and I can say QR code generate. And then of course the image is going to QR code image. So of course, when the button gets clicked on, we need to generate the QR code. So we're gonna say here, button dot add event listener. When the button gets clicked on, we're gonna run this function. Now, we can take advantage of a sync await here, but I'm not gonna make that change just yet. Let's stick with basic promises for now, all right? We're gonna say inside this uh, event listener, QR code, okay, so capital Q, capital R, capital C, ODE, dot to data URL like this, okay? We're gonna be generating a data URL for the QR code. Then you simply pass in here your, your text. In our case, it comes from input.value. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can provide whatever value you want inside here. Okay, it doesn't need to be part of this click event. Just whenever you want to call the QR code, just simply call this function and provide your string. Okay, then we'll say dot then and we'll grab onto the data URL and we'll simply say console dot log data URL, okay? I'll save this, go back in the browser here, I'll refresh, then enter in some text, let's say HTTP, and we'll say, uh, yeah, we'll just use the youtube.com example, okay? And I'll say generate, and in the console, we get the data URL for that QR code. If I press on the link, we can see we get the uh, QR code right there. Now, 
If this is your first time seeing data URLs, essentially a data URL is a URL, right? Plain text URL containing uh, the data for an image. So it's just a different way of representing an image, um, you know, in terms of uh, the actual content, if that makes sense, right? So this is the image. We can actually place this data URL inside the image tag. So going back inside here now, let's, uh, let's say, image.source is equal to data URL. And it's that straightforward, guys. I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh. I'll say once again, let's just copy this URL here. It makes it easy for us, okay? I'll paste that there, press generate, and it's gonna populate that image tag with the data URL, okay? If you want to do this with a sync await, very straightforward. We can just add async to this arrow function and then just say, const uh, data URL is equal to, then you can simply get rid of the then, okay? And you wanna say await. So of course, wait for that to finish uh, generating. Then you can say uh, image.source equal to data URL. Save this back in the browser, refresh. We'll just paste here, generate, and it still works in the exact same fashion. Okay. That is your CDN example. If you're using uh, NPM, it's gonna be a very similar story. All right, so going back inside here now, let's get rid of that script tag, just to make sure, okay? Save this and it is now broken on a refresh, of course. There we go. So we're gonna quickly install uh, the package and we'll just say NPM install QR code, okay? And once this is done, we can then, of course, include that. So I'm just going to then go inside my main.js file and just say import. And we're gonna be importing from, of course, QR code like this. And we can just uh, grab the to data URL uh, method. Hey guys, I forgot to mention in the recording that you can choose different methods for generating the QR code. So I've chosen to use data URL as it's really easy to use and display on the website, but you can use things like to buffer, to canvas, and also to file. So if you're interested and this makes sense for you, definitely worth checking out those methods instead. Okay. So we can do that right there and then simply replace this uh, QR code dot with just two data URL. Now you may want to give an alias to this because two data URL is used in native JavaScript with the canvases, I believe. So it might be clearer to say this as QR code uh, data URL, but regardless, it's gonna work. So uh, we can now just save this and then we can of course run the, uh, the dev server again, back in the browser, refresh here and we can paste that in, okay? And there we go. So we get the exact same result. And that is how to generate QR codes using JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.